If you've lived a wild life and had lots of fun, or you just have plain bad luck, you've probably spent some time being injured. And you might be wondering, what's the deal with injuries? How do you deal with them and still look like a Greek god? Well, that's a great question. We're gonna get to the answer right now. Number one, injuries have three phases. Most of us spend most of our lives in the prodromal or pre-injury state where we have some hint that something's going on through increased tension, you know, increased inflammation, some sort of subtle hint that things aren't going according to plan. And that's probably the best time to address the injury. Then there's the acute phase where you've torn the bicep, you've torn the rotator cuff, you've smacked, something's fractured, something is actually going on. And in that phase, you actually don't want to do very much because you don't want to do push-ups on a broken arm unless you're an idiot. And I've done that, so there you go. The third phase is the chronic phase, which is probably, if you're watching this video, you're wondering, how do I deal with my chronic injury? In this case, I'm gonna, we're talking about shoulders and how to train and build muscular capacity, so the, you know, having good muscularity on your shoulder, but also staying functional and having range of motion and quality of life. Probably the reason why people don't like injuries when it comes to fitness is because it forces you to slow everything down. Whether you're in the prodromal stage and you're trying to prevent an injury, or you're in the acute stage and you can't do something you wanna do, or you're in the chronic phase and you have to actually avoid overtraining that particular muscular or joint complex because the volume or the intensity itself might trigger a new injury. People don't like injuries because it forces us to slow down and no one likes going slow. How do we deal with that IRL? What we do is, we, instead of doing what we always do and, and probably doing the things that got us injured, we listen, we do more listening, allowing the pain and the inflammation and the throbbing and the, basically the body's voice to tell us what the right move is for any particular exercise. And I'll give you a really good example right now with a push-up. So if I have a rotator cup injury, as I do on my right arm, and I'm doing a push-up, the body's gonna tell you what it doesn't wanna do. I'm gonna, in, I'll feel a little bit of a flare, internal rotation, but that's gonna reveal what's going on, what's tight. Feel tension in my pec, my mid-trap, not really firing right. So you, I have to prep, I have to listen to the, my, my shoulder, and I have to prep a better way to do that exercise. So what I'll do is I'll open up my chest a little bit. I'll stretch. I'm looking away from the floor to the ceiling, pressing down into the bench actively. So I'm squeezing the bench with my chest. I'm giving permission for that shoulder to flex. And then I'm gonna relax, stop pressing, and then breathe into that stretch. So. I just mobilize the shoulder. Then, now I can push with a little less irritation, a little less shakiness, and a little bit more of a smooth feeling of contraction through the chest and, and uh, flexion in the upper back. If, if I have an injury in my shoulder, that means I need to be more aware of what's going on in my shoulder, and my shoulder needs to be stronger than, I th than it may have needed to be in otherwise. What I'm saying is, if you have an injury, that's the place you need to be strong first. You don't avoid the injury, you don't avoid using the shoulder, you maximize the shoulder function, shoulder strength and shoulder stability so that you don't get a re-injury. So, I start with the shoulders now. Instead of it being an afterthought to a, a heavy lift, I do shoulders every day, every other day a little bit so I'm constantly leaning against the limitation and keeping that thing from tightening up and turning into the claw or the crab arm. The body is constantly educating us about what we actually need so that we can do the training that our body is actually asking for so to make it easier to build muscle, burn fat, and bring forth the warrior within.